Hey everybody, it's Margaret. We took a trip to fabulous Las Vegas with our Ava for just a little getaway for the Christmas break. We went and stayed at the Venetian. We saw lots of different things and we even recreated some of our BTS photos. She's a really big fan of BTS. BTS. We went to Charlie V's and I tried that for the first time. It's a spicy fried chicken. I think it's Korean uh, and spaghetti. We went and rode the high roller and saw lots of the sights while we were there. And as you may have guessed from this video, we also did some thrifting. So I wanted to share with you some of the quick picks from things that we did there. Uh, this is St. Honoré, uh, don a donut place. They have uh, what do you call it? Uh, creme brulee donuts. Yeah, this is something else Ava saw on TikTok and was like, we have to go try it. So we did. So the first thrift store we hit up was called Castaway's Resale Store. And I was blown away by this resale store. Uh, it had a lot of variety and the prices were phenomenal. I wish that we had something like this at home because I found so much stuff that uh, I could have picked up to flip and we weren't opposed to getting things to bring back, but I really didn't want to do a lot of breakables, but I was like, let's just see what they've got here. What have they got cooking? I saw these plates and these are Bia dining cocktail plates and they, I couldn't see the price on them, but they were selling for, you know, 15, $20 for the set of them um, across different platforms. And so I was like, oh, this is a really good price so again they have such a huge ceramic and glass section a huge mug section I thought these little colorful dishes were pretty cute and these are Debbie Secura but they weren't really worth picking up I thought they were pretty cute though I mean I only saw sold for like ten dollars or so this however caught my eye it's a bird of paradise however it's not like brightly colored this is island plantations and I saw this bowl I think the one I saw was a little bit bigger that sold for thirty dollars but that brand island plantations actually sells for a really good um, price so something to keep an eye out for island plantations so yeah, I saw quite a bit of the Bird of Paradise um, pattern that was selling on eBay. These caught my eye as well, but they were something that I didn't end up looking up because guess what? Barcode. And I didn't, yeah, didn't want to look it up. Barcode. <laughs> Uh, again, quite a bit caught my eye, this little cute salt and pepper shaker. They wanted a buck 97 for these. Uh, I looked up the salt and pepper shakers like that and they really weren't doing so hot. These surprised me. These were F Fujimori collection um, and what was the brand? Cara, I can't remember exactly, but it was Japanese. I thought it was gonna be Italian, these like Italian creamers, but they weren't. And they were actually selling for a pretty good price. And then this is a train mug, Lionel train, which probably would have done pretty well. I wish it's, it was like the side of the train, but I'm not a train person, so maybe it doesn't matter, right? I liked the, the kind of watercolor look of that mug. Their mugs were so cheap, you guys, like under a dollar on a lot of them. So this one was pretty cute, 97 cents. That's what I'm talking about. This one, kiss me, kiss me, kiss me, little rat on there. This is by Moods uh, by Papel, and I could not find this exact one. This particular one that says bottoms up actually sells for a pretty good profit. Uh, so it's something to keep an eye out for if you see that brand uh, Moods. This was another one that I thought was kind of nice. It was a wooden one with a parrot painted on it, 97 cents. And uh, I saw some that were similar that were selling for, you know, $15, $20. I think I only saw one sold though. But again, I sell across different platforms, so I don't always go just off of eBay solds. Here's another one, Designer Collections. This is uh, Mood Swings. Here's another one. This is a Hallmark mug with a black cat on it, and it was hard for me to kind of read what it, <clears throat> what it was saying on there. But this one, um, again, there were quite a few up, and I think I only saw one sold. The, the spectrum of prices was anywhere from up for sale for like $8 up to $25, just depending. I probably would have gone around the $19.99 price point because I sell on eBay, you know, Mercari, on different... Um, I, I wish I'd seen those other mugs just now. But look at this happy face mug. This one actually didn't sell for that much, but there are some that um, you should be looking for. The Teleflora one is like that flower, you know, that comes with bouquets and stuff. And so those don't sell for quite as much, but there are some other like happy face mugs that sell for pretty good money. 
as you can see there are quite a few mugs here this one was kind of cute but it wasn't really takimaki uh takamaki there it wasn't really a brand that was selling for very much uh, i see a pineapple one back there i missed i was just kind of blown away you know when you get i i I use this term junk drunk when I walk in. Sometimes it's at a garage sale, an estate sale. This particular thrift store had me junk drunk. I was like, well, I don't even know where to look. There's so much stuff. Um, but yeah, there was, like I say, a lot of stuff at really cheap prices. So uh, if you live in the Vegas area, let me know if this is one that you hit up because it's quite a big variety and quite uh, reasonably priced. So this is kind of like the kitchen plasticky stuff. However, I still like to look at it because sometimes you'll find like vintage, like melamine type stuff there or, and even some of the more um, contemporary melamine can, like plates can sell for a good profit depending on what the pattern is and where it came from. Uh, cookie cutters, I probably should have dug in those because I mean the utensils and stuff, what was it like two for 50 cents or two for a dollar? This cookie jar, I was trying to place it and I, it looks familiar. So maybe you guys know, and you can leave a comment down below about that cookie jar. It looked like branches and stuff. This caught my eye just personally, cause I was like, oh, I love these bright colors. I like the little lunch box with all the containers, like kind of like a bento box. I liked that a lot. And what else are we, oh, those red plastic baskets. If you get enough of those together, um, you can sell them for, for a pretty penny. You know, I saw some, I think it was like 40 of them, a set of 40 of them sold for like 30 bucks. So it's something that if you see, see a few of them, you know, snap them up and, and make a pile so that you can, uh, go, go sell them for money. Let me know you guys, if you see something that I missed, cause like I said, there was so much stuff and I was just getting overwhelmed. I, uh, yeah. I kept thinking I was going to bump into some some Vegas friends while I was there, but I didn't get a chance to. Um, yeah, I we weren't there for very many days, maybe like three or four days. So I didn't get to see any of my Vegas friends, unfortunately. Unfortunately. We did have a really good time, though. I'm looking at something. Oh, this frosted glass. Uh, I, I guess it's a candle holder. I guess it's a candle holder. So I see some stoneware back there, those stoneware candle holders that I didn't look at. I, like I said, I didn't even spot them until now. Um, and I know sometimes I get comments like, how did you miss that? I'm telling you what, if you ever go and record on your own and go home and watch, I promise there's going to be stuff that you miss. You just sometimes just get not tunnel vision, but you just like get overwhelmed with everything. That warmer is pretty cute, but I, I spied this little piggy and I was like, Ooh, piggy. So it's a nice little piggy planter, a buck 97 on this. I could not find another one like it. Um, I did see some other pig planters anywhere from like 15 to $25. Some were a little bit more depending on age and, and things like that. This one I had to go, I had to go to the social medias for what is this? I was like the inside part looks familiar and it's a toothpaste squeezer, but I've never seen one fancy like this. So this one has this cool Greek key pattern. Now this is one thing that I'm like, I wish I'd gotten it because uh, I only saw one sold from this brand that wasn't even as cute as that. And it was like 20 bucks or maybe it was not quite sold, but it was up. I, I thought it was super cute, but I couldn't place like, what is it? It looks familiar. But I've only seen those like toothpaste squeezers like without a ceramic decorative part on it. So anyway, pretty cute. Same thing with this penguin. I was like, what is it? Why, why is it got all these little holes in the back? Now this lacquer box is another thing that generally I would pick up. The top part wasn't as uh, intricate as a lot of the lacquer boxes I've seen, but $3 on that. And it's in pretty good shape. The, uh, the interior lining looks really good. So three bucks on that. And that probably could have sold like $17, $20, maybe even more. But because the top part wasn't quite as fancy as some others. Um, yeah, I didn't think it would spend, spend sell for that much. So this is a little sugar pot. Uh, and I love the design of it, but Sango stuff hmm, doesn't always sell for super great. Uh, there, there were two sold of this one. $15.98 is pretty good. Um, if I'd gotten it, well, even if at two bucks, you know, that's still a good like $10 profit or something. So might've been a good pickup right there. Nova blue on that one. Oh, look at this pink glass vase with like the little bumps on the side. I wish I'd looked at that one too. But again, I was just like, I got like a smoke screen or something in front of my eyes sometimes. I liked those, but they they were uh, not marked and I wasn't quite sure who made them. Another little pot that I missed right there. And I'm sure, I am sure that I'm missing something. So y'all holler it out at me in the comment section so that I can go back and look and 
and see what I missed. Now we found some really cool stuff while we were thrifting and I do have another one coming, um, but take a look at these. I mean, if we were at home, I would have gotten these lickety split. These are vintage uh, end tables and a coffee table. Come on, Vegas, that screams Elvis. Thanks so much for watching and you guys stay tuned because I do have a part two for when we go to Savers uh, coming up hopefully tomorrow and I will talk to you on the next one. Bye everyone.